three, two, one. Hi, everyone. So to complement the uh, the slides and the real-time ways that we're trying to help you learn how to set up uh, your own Google Classroom, I thought I would put together a video for us. And I'm just going to go over a few different things. I'm going to help us find where Classroom is in our Google suite of apps. We're going to create a classroom and check out how to change the themes. And I'm going to do my best to show you about topics. And uh, we'll see what else I kind of slide in there uh, kind of accidentally on purpose. So first thing first, uh, we make sure that we're signed into our board Google account. Uh, we hover over the icon here and you can see it's definitely my board account because it has my employee number at educ.duffinpeelcatholicdistrict2board.org. Um, one thing that we have to make sure is that we're not signed into a personal account because things aren't going to function the way we want. And it's actually a pretty common mistake. So just make sure that you're in your board account first. Okay, so next, we want to click on our Google app waffle right here. We click on it. Our different Google apps are, are going to be available for us here. They're going to open up. If you don't see Classroom on your list, just click More. You probably will see Classroom on your list, but if not, click More, and it will definitely show up. So I'm signed into Google. I open my apps, and I click on Classroom. When I click on Classroom, I land in my Classroom dashboard, which is going to look something like this. You have to excuse the speed of my Wi-Fi while I record this. So on my dashboard, you can see there are several classes that I'm either teaching or I am a part of. Uh, if I click on my hamburger over here, the three lines is actually called the uh, hamburger, the main menu here. You can see that the classes that I am teaching show up, but also any classes that I am enrolled in in the role of student also show up here. So. We'll go back to our classroom dashboard. And if I click on the plus, I can create or join a class. For students or any class that you're enrolling in, you would click join. And you will enter your class code here. We're creating classes from the role of teacher. So we actually click on create class. And Google is going to give me the opportunity to give it a name. And this might be grade level and your last name, etc. You can give it a section. And you can give it a specific subject. You might not want to give it a specific subject because you might have several topics going. Or you might have a different class for each subject that you teach. Totally up to you. These are logistical questions and you do what works for you. Click on create. It's going to give me like a generically set up class. And so you're going to see that in just a moment. Here we go. Actually, I really like this theme they started us off with. So we land in the main classroom stream. Full disclosure, I have a slightly different version of Google Classroom because I'm signed up for this beta where I'm supposed to try out uh, some new updates that aren't released to everyone yet. I'm supposed to try it out and give them the feedback. We'll see how that goes. So my uh, mine looks slightly different. So I will flip to one that looks more like yours. However, the things that are definitely the same, top left corner, your class name, that hamburger I mentioned, I can click on it. I can have a look at all the classes I'm a part of or teaching. Um, the stream is the main stream where all the communication is definitely going to go through this feed. It's going to land here. Classwork is something unique to the beta here, to the one that I'm uh, kind of piloting. And people here. As students join your class, they will be populated here, and any teachers will be listed here as well. we'll go back to the stream, have a look at the About section, give it a quick click. If you have your students ready to join your class, you have the Chromebooks in your room, or you're in a lab, there's probably not too many labs left out there, or there, there won't be very soon. You have the Chromebooks or the laptops in your room. You can click on the About if you like, and you can click on Display. And now every student can simply go to their classroom dashboard when they're signed in to Google and they can go to classroom and they can join the class with that code right there. So you can display it for your students. And as they join, once again, as I mentioned, they'll show up here where it says students. Go back to my stream, have a quick peek at themes. Uh, Google will pick a, a theme at random for you, but you have your choice of all these really, they're actually pretty cool. The themes that they give you the option of using, kind of like them. I'm gonna keep this kind of spacey theme. I really like it a lot. But uh, for your classroom, you might pick a theme that suits who you are, who your learners are, or, or what you're teaching, right? And you can also go with some color patterns. Uh, the important thing to recognize when we're picking the themes is that this is going to be aesthetically somewhat important, I guess, because um, you're going to 
the color scheme in your class is going to be dictated by the theme you decide. For some people, that's a big deal. For others, not so much. Totally up to you. Okay, so I'm going to quickly jump one tab over. Here's my classroom that I just created, that I just kind of whizzed through really quickly. I know that was quick. I'm going to click on our Summer Institute class. By the time uh, you see this, I think you will have joined this, but it's possible not. I'm not sure exactly where this is going to land in our presentation, if at all. Um, but again, it will be this video will be included in the class materials in this Summer Institute classroom that you join. So if you ever want to reference it at some point, maybe not, you might. So I guess let's see, right? In any case, here's what your setup will look like. Same idea. You can check out the about part. You can display the class. You can select a different theme. You can upload a photo, but there's some specifications that are kind of tricky to meet sometimes. So you might want to just stick with the themes that Google provides for you. In the version of Classroom that you will be creating, that you have access to right now, if you click on the plus, the bottom right corner, you have the option of creating an announcement, which is, of course, just a way to communicate to your whole class, creating an assignment, creating a question, or reusing a previous post. We will go through what each of these actually kind of means and kind of does in, a next, in, a, in our next video and in real time as well. And one last quick thing that I will touch base on here before I let you go. The topics area, as you can see, I've created two topics here, language, math. To, to add a topic, you simply click on add a topic. Now I have three separate, basically they're tags, they're organizational tabs that I can use. If I'm going to create a new announcement, assignment, question, etc., I can organize it by placing it into one of those specific tabs. So for example, I, I don't know, an announcement might be novel, novel group readings, do something similar to that. Obviously this is very generic and I would post it in language. There might be something else that I'm putting with that message, a link to a website, a video, something from Google Drive or some other attachment. For now, we will leave that and we'll dive into that uh, in real time and in another video. But again, it's tagged. And once I click post, this announcement shows up in the language tab. So it's in the mainstream, but it's also in the language tab. And as we wrap our head around how we can use this tool, we'll see why the different topics make more and more sense and why tagging our content makes more and more sense. Thanks very much. I hope that wasn't too quick. I hope it made sense and I hope that you're learning in real time as well.